Hey everybody, Mike here from Mr. Lost Bike Shop, and today I got myself some goodies. I got the One Up Components EDC tool, which goes right into the steer tube of my fork. And to match my orange fox fork, I got an orange top cap for this thing. Plus, I got the plug and plier kit, so not only can I quickly repair any punctures in my tubeless tires, but it's also got a little quick link tool so that I can pull quick link out of my chain and fix that right on the side of the trail. So in today's video, I'm gonna install my EDC tool into my fork and do a little talking about the One Up Components EDC system. So I've got all of the 1UP components EDC gear right in front of me. I got the EDC tool, I got the EDC strap, plus I got the plug and pliers kit, which is an optional accessory, but I would highly recommend it if you are going to invest a couple bucks in this EDC tool. So why is the EDC tool system cool and why would you want to invest in it? Well, let's go back a couple years when everybody on the trails had a big backpack and everyone was really sweaty on their back. Well, we figured out that that's kind of annoying, plus it feels really weird having a bunch of weight on your back when you're riding down a trail. So then we started putting fanny packs on. Whether you get made fun of or not, I still really like fanny packs because you can carry a whole bunch of stuff with you, especially when you're going on really big trail rides. You can bring a sandwich and you could bring a banana and you could bring a trail mix and some toilet paper, etc., etc. But let's go one step further and let's get the fanny pack off of us. Let's have no weight on our back or on our hips. Let's put all of our tools stashed in our bike because we know that there's a whole bunch of space in our bike frame and in our steer tube and under our saddle. So One Up Components has gone and engineered a bunch of really cool tools that stuffs in all these little empty crevices on your bike. So let's take a look at everything. All right, let's start with the coolest part of everything, the heart and soul of the EDC system, which is the EDC tool. So it's really easy to use. Um, if you need to use your multi-tool on the trail, you just bend it and everything just kind of pops out. So you got a tire lever right here and you got a chain breaker accessory, which you just use with your multi-tool. And then you got this sweet little multi-tool. Got pretty much everything that you need for an on the side trail repair. Now stashed in the back of the frame, you can store a quick link for your chain. So I have an Eagle quick link right here. So if I, my chain breaks on the side of the trail, I got my chain breaker and I got a quick link and I can fix everything right up. So in the bottom, this is where it gets really crazy. You unthread this and you can either stash stuff inside of here like some money or ibuprofen or who knows, whatever you wanna put in there. Um, and then if you want, you can thread a CO2 cartridge into here and then you can stash your tool, your chain breaker, your chain links, and a CO2 cartridge right in your steer tube. So when it's time to reassemble your tool, really easy, thread this guy back on. The tool lines up with some little keyways on the back. Just stuff it in the top, snap it back together, and your tool is reassembled. All right, now let's take a look at the sweet plug and plier kit. One of the most annoying things is getting flat tires, as every mountain biker knows. So this is gonna make it a whole lot easier on the side of the trail. Thread in this little adapter. Tighten it up with a little 10 millimeter at home. Then you thread in the needle for your bacon strips. By the way, this thing comes with a ton of these. It comes with 15. So then thread your strip through there like you would on any uh, tubeless repair kit. <clears throat> and then here is your quick link tool, which is probably my favorite thing that comes in everything because if anyone has ever broken a chain on the side of the trail and they needed to take their quick link out, you know how it's nearly impossible to get these things out these days with your hands. So they have a quick link tool right there. It's got an O-ring around it to act as a spring and it also keeps it super snug in the bottom reservoir down here. So that goes down right in there and then thread this back on. So now when you get it flat on the side of the trail, pull this out of your steer tube and stab this right into your tire, pull it out and you have fixed your flat on your tubeless tire. Let's put the cool tool aside and just go over to the not as exciting, but still equally functional uh, strap. This one is cool, it's, it's pretty flexible and it's really soft, so it's not gonna cut your tube on your frame. I have had a bunch of uh, friends that have duct taped or electrical taped their tube onto their frame, and then when they get a flat, 
and we're trying to fix it, we find out that there is a hole in their tube because it was taped to the frame or it was like, I don't know, they use like speaker wire or something to attach it to their frame, so that's pretty ghetto. So don't be ghetto and these straps are really cheap um, and they will, yeah, keep your tube on your frame and there you go. You don't need a fanny pack and you don't need a backpack. Step one of installing the EDC tool into your fork steer tube is to remove your fork. All right, I've got my fork pulled out of my bike, and so the next step is to pull the star nut out of my fork. To install the EDC tool, you will have to buy the EDC tap kit. Included in the tap kit is the tap, the tap guide, and the star nut removal tool. So we'll start by using the star nut removal tool to pull the star nut out of your fork. Grab your star nut removal tool, thread it into your star nut on your fork, Grab a five millimeter Allen key, cinch it down nice and tight, and then start cranking on it. This will take a little bit of elbow grease, but just keep tightening it down, and it will eventually pull your star nut out. So one of two things will happen, depending on which star nut is in your fork. Either you'll pull the whole thing out, or you'll pull just the center part out. So like on mine, it pulled the center part out, so I will need to use a punch or a flat blade to punch the rest of the star nut out. No sweat if you pull out just the center of the star nut. It's actually pretty easy to get the whole thing out. Use a flathead screwdriver and a hammer. Hit it on the side. It'll turn to the side and then just pull straight out. So do that same thing for both the top and bottom of your star nut. When you get to the bottom, since it's a little farther down, just grab it with some needle nose pliers. And there you go, now your steer tube is hollow again. The next step is to tap the steer tube. But before we go busting out the tap, grab some degreaser or polish or rubbing alcohol or something, even water, um, spray down a rag, just get it nice and wet, and shove this in the bottom of the steer tube, and this is gonna catch any of the metal flakes and metal chunks that fall down the steer tube when we're tapping it. So next, grab the tap that comes in the tap kit, and these things are built idiot proof. I'm an idiot, and if I can install this, I guarantee you can. So grab the tap itself and cover this thing in a whole bunch of chain lube, and this is going to act as your cutting fluid. You can, of course, use cutting fluid as if you have that too, but most mountain bikers have a whole lot of chain lube laying around. Place this into the top of the steer tube, and then take the cutting guide and place this over the tap. Now grab an eight millimeter Allen key, shove this in there, and that's gonna be your leverage on it to turn the tap. Now let's get to tapping. But first, put the fork in between your knees to keep it super secure and snug so it's not moving around while you're tapping this thing because you are using quite a bit of leverage on this tap. So it says right on top of the cap, half turn forward, quarter turn back. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna keep doing that exact thing, half turn forward, quarter turn back, just like you would tap anything else. Now if you feel like it's getting dry about halfway through, Remove the guide and drop some chain lube in between these ports in the tap and then keep her going. So just keep on tapping until the eight millimeter Allen bottoms out on the tap guide and then you're done. You know that you're done tapping at that point, so remove the tap. So now that your steer tube is tapped, just turn the fork over into a garbage or recycling bin, take your eight millimeter Allen and push your rag all the way through from the bottom so that all the chips fall into the recycling bin. Now just to make sure that everything is extra clean, take another clean rag and run it through the top of the steer tube. Make sure everything is super clean in there. There's no extra chips left over. Clean off all the chain lube off the outside of the steer tube. And there we go, everything is dry and clean and we're ready to put the tool in. Next, grab the steer tube plug from your EDC tool kit. Pop this into the bottom of the steer tube. Grab a little rubber mallet and just tap it in. Just tap it in. All you gotta do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. Hey, just tap it in. And now, install your freshly tapped fork into your bike. Now add a little bit of grease to the freshly tapped steer tube. 
reinstall your headset spacers, and then take your EDC top cap and thread it into your fork. Now this is a pretty neat feature of this stuff, is that the top cap uses a cassette tool. So grab your cassette tool and cinch everything down. Get this about the same tightness as you would if you had a standard top cap. And now here's the really hard part. You take the EDC tool and you put it in your fork. And there you have it. Your EDC tool is now installed into your fork and you got a tube strapped to your frame with your EDC strap. And now you are ready to enjoy bike rides free of backpacks and fanny packs. If you guys have any questions at all about the EDC tools from 1UP Components, leave a comment below and I'll answer them as quick as I can. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Until next time, happy trails.